Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to do speech recognition in Unity 5 using the new Unity Engine.Windows.Speech library. This is a new library coming with Unity 5.4 beta version and as you can see I'm using the, um, the 5.4.0 beta 25 personal version. So if you have at least this version of Unity you can start watching this tutorial and you can do what I'm going to do. Okay, so. Uh, in order to start, uh, we need to understand what speech recognition is. Uh, speech recognition is something that allows you to speech, to talk to, to the computer, and the computer understands what you're saying, okay, and performs actions based on what you're saying. So, how we do this? In, how do we do this in Unity 5? We start creating a new C# -sharp script, which I'll name recognition, okay, and then we start using Unity engine dot windows dot speech library and you not system dot link library. Okay. So how does this work? Uh, we actually have different kinds of objects which we can use and I'm going to show you the, the simplest one now, which is the keyboard recognizer. So we'll start with a keyboard recognizer uh, which I'll name like this. Okay. This keyword recognizer is a particular object that is able to, um, to look for, to listen for uh, specific words. Okay. So if you say something like go, you can understand it. If you say something like shut up, you can understand it. Okay. Uh, how, do, how does it work? It needs a dictionary. So we're going to create a dictionary. Uh, probably need to import also a system that collections that generic okay so we have a dictionary we can, which we can use and this dictionary will be a string and a system that action dictionary so it will uh, uh, use uh, strings for recognition and then it'll uh, fire a, a callback uh, a function uh, according to the string okay so these are our keyboards uh, keywords new dictionary okay very good and so now we can start creating uh, our keyword recognizer and sending it up okay so we do a start function and we write something like uh, keywords dot add something like uh, I don't know go okay this is our uh, our command okay, our vocal command and then we have to set a callback for that go in this case I'm gonna use another function which I create now this function will be uh, go out. Okay. So when uh, when somebody says go, I'm gonna call this function. That's basically it. Okay. And here I'm gonna print. You just said go, like Pokemon Go, you know. <laughs> okay. uh, that's not enough. We actually have to uh, initialize the keyword recognizer. We just added uh, something to the dictionary, but we're gonna tell the Keyword recognizer to use that dictionary. So I'm gonna say keyword recognizer equals to a new keyword recognizer, which takes keywords that keys that to array as a parameter for this constructor, and then we can simply start doing something like keyword recognizer dot on phrase recognized which is the event called each time uh, we say something which is included in this dictionary like go uh, and we're gonna add a function here so let's create that uh, keyword recognize something like a keyword recognizer on phrase recognized yes Okay, it takes one parameter, which is phrase 
recognized event args, perfect, which we call args. And then we have a system.action keyword action, which is a variable which will be edited right now in this if because we're gonna try to get uh, the value of the, of the keyword that we that we spoke about so if we say go we're gonna get the, the function which is uh, connected with the word go and fire it okay so that's what we're going to do now how does this work it's simple actually we just write args that text Args that, that text is the word we just said okay and then we pass as reference the keyword action which will be edited if the args.txt is something that we included in our keywords dictionary and then we just need to invoke the, um, the action okay so let's add this here and then we say keyword recognizer.stuffed okay so I'll explain all of this again so we started creating an object named keyword recognizer and a dictionary okay this dictionary contains uh, words and actions connected uh, to the words which are functions okay routines callbacks call them as you want then we say that the keyword recognizer is a new object that uh, has uh, to check for the, the keys of our dictionary so for all the words in our dictionary each time we see something and then we say that when it recognizes something so on phrase recognized is an event which is called every time the, the keyword recognizer recognizes that we just said something contained in the dictionary uh, we're gonna fire this keyword recognize on phrase recognized so this function this function takes uh, this uh, phrase recognized event targets as a parameter and uses it to understand what kind uh, of phrase we just said okay and then according to the phrase it'll just fire the action connected to the phrase which in this case would be go call. Okay, so how do we use it now? We just save, then go back to Unity and attach the um, recognition script to something which is in the scene. For example, the main camera. Okay, so I'm gonna attach it to the main camera. Here we go. Let's save again. Then press play. So, of course, nothing appears, but if we say go! Go! Okay, so you have to speak clearly, of course, and near to the microphone because my mine actually is pretty distant, so it sometimes may not recognize what I'm saying. But as you can see, it just said, you just say, go! And if I say that again, after a couple of seconds, uh, he will recognize it. So I try it again, go! And there he is, number two. Okay, perfect, guys. So as you can see, we can just start doing simple speech recognition, it's not so much difficult, uh, it's actually a, a pretty simple script that we brought and according to this you can start doing things like uh, sending commands to the players to the player, uh, so if you say something like left you might turn the player left or let him go left, if you say jump we might jump, something like that. So. Uh, now it's up to you, you can do whatever you want with this, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, there are uh, other ways to do uh, speech recognition which are more advanced, and I'll probably do a tutorial based on them. Uh, I'm just figuring them out, so <laughs> let me give me some time. But I hope that this will be useful for you, uh, let me know about that. So if you find those useful, just write that in the comments and, and let me know because it will be very very useful for me. Okay guys, so. That's all, that's all for today, so see you in the next video. Happy coding! Bye bye!